Boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of as you're laying up today. So let's go ahead and talk about we've got one day left in the Alchemist and uh, the Archipelago of Secrets event. That's the Rotelia Raza uh, collab. So one more day against tomorrow, the 7th. So you've got today and then you've got tomorrow to finish it up. Uh, it's a pretty good story, very interesting. Uh, uh, pretty much the same, you know, uh, another world co collab, you know wake up you're in another uh, <laughs> but it had some twists and turns uh associated with the azulane storyline so it was a pretty good uh, setup so basically just make sure that you do get in there knock everything out that you can um uh, they got several ways to get to make sure that you do get uh ideas because we want to make sure that she's she's ssr so you definitely want to make sure that you do get her uh, and as you can see you just go up uh just like a standard uh, milestone, you know, as you do event rewards and whatnot, you get her. Uh, the actual event, uh, try to do complete the core nexus. I went ahead and, and just did one level on the nexus. Okay, so I completed each, you know, one of the, some of the cores uh, to get that going. Uh, make sure that you do just about everything that you can inside of here. The request board is very important. Make sure that you complete everything. I, I went ahead and threw, ran through and did everything. Okay, so it takes a little while. Basically, I just did the, you know, the minimum, that one of the one of the actual requests was to complete teach one, two, three, complete each of those levels one uh, ten times. So basically, that's what I did. <laughs> I completed each of the levels ten times. Uh, that took care of a lot of the stuff. And then basically after that, we would just go through and do onesies and twosies because it's very simple in terms of that. So let's go ahead and take something. So let's just uh, we use uh, we use the uh, this core right here. So you basically just hit quit select, okay, and, and, and then it's going to tell you exactly what you need and how to get. It tells you you got to go to TH4. So you go to TH4 and do TH4. That's all you really have to do. Uh, and just complete. I completed all of the gear, completed all uh, one set of cores for each, just to do everything. The cores are applicable only to the ships. Uh, it, inside of the actual event so it's not like if you're able to complete you know teach one two three four five if you're able to complete those fine of course really aren't going to help you that much uh but if you do take a look at the if you do take a look at the nexus uh it's very specific about that it says boosts will be applied to your fleets on the following stages teach one dash five sp next so that's the only time that this course are going to be useful to you so it's uh, after the event's over it's really not going to be that useful but if you have a lower level team or something like this this might be exceedingly useful to you uh, if you're having trouble completing those, I did not have any trouble completing any of those, so that uh, not an issue. So as always, the store, or in this case the shop, the munitions, it's going to be open for uh, seven days, so it'll be open till the 14th. So uh, wait to get uh, if you. I actually built her successfully, built Claudia, so I don't need to actually do her. But wait until after that. Wait until you know the build is over. The build will be ending tomorrow evening, along with the rest of the event. At that time, you then purchase her in the shop if you need that ship. I did not get her, actually built her twice. Uh, so, it wasn't much of an issue. But they got some pretty good stuff in here. Okay, uh, augmentation stones, uh, parts, uh, cognitive arrays, chips, blueprints. So, basically, pretty much a standard uh, a standard fare. I managed to build all the ships except for... I have not been able to uh, build uh, Patricia yet. I've got... Uh, I was on Claudia, Lilla, and Sarah. So I've got all of those ships, but, uh, and including uh, uh, Kayla, because that was inside of the actual milestone rewards. But I haven't actually uh, been able to actually be, uh, uh, build Patricia yet. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get her. Otherwise, I'll come up one short. Okay, and I've got most of them maxed out at this particular time as well, too. If we go into the actual, I got most of them inside of my favorites inside of the dock. Uh, so she's complete. She's complete. She's complete. She's yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've got most of them complete at this particular point. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to be using any of the ships. There's really not a lot uh, that changes in terms of that. We will of course have to. We've had some times to do some builds and whatnot. See if any of them actually uh, actually you know uh, become exceedingly useful in terms of that. But really, I didn't see anything in there that would actually uh, you know. Yeah, these are actually building, if you want to build just a fleet of these particular ships, they have a lot of synergy as always. Uh, so you might be able to have a, a fairly decent fleet. 
of course it's not going to be pvp meta but it, it's actually not that bad in terms of, of the ships the ships are actually pretty good uh on their own uh, and you combine them into a fleet synergy uh, it makes them uh, much better uh, but uh so that's something to consider as well but the ships uh the very but it does end tomorrow evening so make sure that you do that uh there's a lot of gear in there uh, and the gear uh, can be used for the ships so you definitely want to make sure uh that you're able to uh that if you do build the ships that you're able to use utilize them and the best way to do that uh is through you know is through the pieces of gear uh we've got a lot of them you know a lot of it built so it's uh, a lot of stuff <laughs> so as you can see all of these uh you know these are weapons that came from that i built <laughs> so there's quite a few of them um so it depends on, I guess, what you want to do is you want to focus on whichever ship it is that you're wanting to use. Uh, and then you just level this stuff up. It's just, uh, it's just standard. Okay. There's nothing different about these pieces of equipment than any other piece of gear. Okay. So keep that in mind. Uh, and as you can see, it's tiered five star. Most of, uh, it's pretty much all five star equipment. So it all should be very good and if you take a look at that but it's got to be equipped on a collab character okay same here okay so you're you're getting um you get skill buffs uh, skills and whatnot from equipping them so they're very very useful to be put on any of the utility riser ships that's why i want to hold off on saying uh that there that there might be something uh that could change the meta because of all this gear okay that's why i went and built all of the gear even if I don't use it, I still want to have it because if something breaks into the meta, from one, if one of these ships breaks into the meta, uh, I want to be able to equip it properly with the proper gear to make it do that. So that's why I actually built all of the gear. So I do have all of it built. Uh, and that's what I did first. My first focus was after I did the 10. And then I just went back through. Uh, since I wasn't having any trouble beating the actual TH1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, I did not focus on the cores at that particular time simply because of the fact that I did not need their buff. So what I did after I completed the request board was I went through uh, and finished all of the gear, built every single piece. You know, each one needed like one or two pieces. So it's basically just busy work as I like to call it. You know, go, go quick select, click one that's empty, go to the, do it. I got it. You come back, put it in and create the item. Sometimes it was two pieces. Sometimes it was three pieces. Uh, and then you, you build the gear. And that's what I did on every single one of these pieces. Um, and now I've got them all. But I'm not going to waste my materials as of yet until I determine if something, if one of the ships uh, has a specific gear set that works on it that makes it exceedingly usable inside of uh, the meta, then that's something that I'll be able to build. But I do have it if I need it. Uh, and they're so pretty. And, and that's why I'm not saying, uh, you know, with certainty that, you know, uh, anything's going to change. They don't normally, Azurlade's been pretty good about not changing uh, meta or making, uh, you know, massive new uh, leaps forward <laughs> with collab characters, unlike some uh, games, 7DS Grand Cross, not, not to mention names. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm going to be doing a video on them shortly because there's a character in there that you really need to get. Uh, uh, I, I never say participate in those but you he's free he's free you can get him for free just by playing the game but uh i'm going to do a video on that just to let you know that you really should be actually getting the character but that's for another video but yeah and this so it ends tomorrow uh so get in there uh, yeah do the request board okay do the gear even if you're not going to use it it only takes if you've done each of the actual TH levels 10 times as it was required on the crest board. You're only going to have to do one or two pieces. I think one piece I had to pick up three, but that was only one. Uh, but it's usually just one or two pieces to actually, that you're actually going to need to pick up. That will complete the item. And then you want to complete it, and then you just put it in your gear, okay? <laughs> um, then, so if sometime in the future where something comes up where one of these ships can be made exceedingly useful in something, or if maybe, you know, you'll have it so you, you're not like oh crap i wish i would have built that <laughs> you don't have to worry about that you've got it uh, so build all of the gear um uh, and then wait until we've had times to do testing out there um uh, no there hasn't been any pronouncements made yet from any of the actual people normally by this time they would have introduced something 
if it was that prevalent to the current meta. Nothing has been introduced. Um, the ships aren't bad. They're very they're not bad ships. Uh, but all, you know, like like not all of them are really good in groundbreaking. But the, the the there's a few ships in there that are, that have a pretty good skill set. Uh, but there's uh, other ships that can do it as well. So it yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything groundbreaking. But with this this gear is what worries me. Uh, I don't have enough mats to max out every single piece of that gear. Well, I probably I could be close, <laughs> but I would spend a lot of money and I'd be pretty much out of <laughs> parts <laughs> after. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, if a ship becomes important, it can be used inside the meta. Then I'll build the required gear for it and gear it up properly. So just make sure you build the ships, if you know, and then make sure that you get the gear. Also keep in mind that we're probably going to be having a UR ship here probably within the next couple of months. Uh, it would not surprise me if it was the next event, but I think the next event will not. Yeah, we're probably going to skip that. We'll probably see it after. Uh, Christmas time would be my assumption. So probably after the holidays. But it might pop up before that. They might actually throw it into the actual uh, holiday event. They might actually sneak a UR ship in there. So you might want to keep an eye on your build materials. Try to keep your build materials around 300 just in case you do need to go to the pity, uh, which is what the pity is for UR ships. Okay, so remember that. Um, so keep that in mind as well uh, on your builds. Like I said, I've got them all. And the one in, uh, and Cal inside of that, I just need to get Patricia. I'd like to build her, but because she has a, an SR ship, so you definitely wanted to get her, but it just has not has fallen uh, as of yet. So hopefully it will fall uh, uh, today or tomorrow. Um, I can usually, you know, in a two week period, I can usually get my hands on roughly, uh, uh, I can get my hands on a fair amount of cubes. So, uh, but I'm trying to wait until they, I'm trying to get. Uh, some information as to what's going to be next so I can make if it's going to be you know if they're going to drop the UR ship now or in the holiday season I'm probably only going to drop this down to about 250 but if they're going to actually if it's not going to be till after the holiday season uh, when they start dropping a UR of it I'll probably go down to maybe 200 okay so just to get try to get Patricia that way I have all the ships there's no event associated with this there's no there's no mission uh, as in normal events where you have to build uh the ships uh and max them out there's nothing uh nothing like that in there uh so you don't need to worry about that at this particular time um so that's not part of the event there's no uh chat order uh, event for this okay it's just build the ships uh the actual mission is the actual doing the request board uh and stuff and then building the gear uh you know and uh, I hope all events aren't like this because this was a really busy event. Um, it took a really a lot of time to do that. It's, it was not hard by any means. If you have a medium level team, you should be able to complete this. The problem was the fact that it was just a lot of it. Uh, and it, it just required you to, you know, go through and click on each missing and get it. And then click on the next one, missing, get it, then craft the gear, then move on to the next one. Uh, so it took a lot of time. This I actually spent quite a bit of time on this particular um, event. So much that, uh, you know, I'm just now to the point where everything's built. So this evening and tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and work on trying to complete the EX. I did throw my ships into it one on the EX. I got, I got, I almost quite actually, I almost beat it. <laughs> I was a little bit uh, short. As always, the damage takes events. But there's there's you know mitigating factors as well. You can mitigate it with with healers and whatnot. So I have to do that. Basically, I just hit request, you know, and then have them choose, and then I take that team in and see how I do, and then based on that, I adjust to it. So if I only had a chance to run it a couple times, um, uh, I do the X do the SP daily, of course, but uh, the EX just the the, the the higher level, the max level. Uh, but I, I was probably about twenty percent uh, on that, and then I managed to get down to like ten before I actually, you know, bought the bullet. So I'll probably be able to be very, very close to beating it. Um, uh, I'm going to start focusing on that uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, the event ends tomorrow evening, as I've said. So you want to make sure that you do complete all of the actual sorties by then. Uh, nothing difficult inside of the sorties. Uh, first level was, of course, the actual uh, story. And then the second level, the TH levels were just for the, uh, you know, the farming, the actual uh, items that you need, the materials that you need to complete the gear. 
All right, so that's what it was. But uh, it's a pretty good story, as always. But uh, it is ending tomorrow, so wanted to do a video to just let everybody know, get in there, knock stuff out. Uh, it's doable. you got to spend a little bit of time doing it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, but yeah, make sure you do all that gear just to be on the safe side. Don't build it yet. Don't, you know, don't start enhancing it unless you've got a buku materials and you'd have a bunch left over. I won't. That's like 10 pieces of material. It's like 10 pieces of gear. It's a lot of gear. Uh, so I want to make sure that it's gear that I'm actually going to use. Uh, and th but just get it so that you have it and you, it's in your inventory. If it ever comes up where you need it for something, then you've got it. Okay, so that's basically what it is. Uh, you want to be prepared just in case. Um, it's the same with all the ships. I've got, you know, I'm trying to get all the ships. And some of them haven't been built up yet. But if they do in the future need it, I have it. So that's where, I, that's the way I look at it. Um, uh, and again, just, uh, you know, do the story, have fun. Do the build. Yep, it's a little, uh, it's a little on the uh, tedious side, but it uh, shouldn't be difficult. All right. So that's all I got. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. Once you subscribe, you'll see a bell. Click on it, you get notified each time I drop a video. Ken Rear, coming at you from the corner, signing out.